Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Romani and in four months, I will be four years locked. Today, I wanna to talk about how you can start your lock journey. Now, there are a lot of reasons why people start their lock. Sometimes it's for spiritual reasons or sometimes you just want a low maintenance hairstyle or sometimes you just like the way that they look. It all depends on you and I really encourage you to think about your reasoning for starting your locks. Now, you may be a person that does not plan to have locks for the rest of their life, but you may be a person who wants this to be a permanent decision. And when you make permanent decisions, you wanna be clear clear on why you're making that decision. Now this video isn't really going to touch on the why and I can probably make another video about that but today I want to talk about the technicality. So I want to talk about how to actually start your lock journey. So when I started my lock journey three and a half years ago I didn't have the assistance of a loctician so I'm going to be approaching this video from a DIY standpoint. So I'm going to tell you how exactly to like literally start your locks with your own hands. The first thing that you want to do before you start your locks is you want to have a photo for reference now this photo is not going to be a photo that you're gonna try to imitate but you do want to have a reference point when you're starting your locks so that you can know how full you want your hair you can know approximately how many locks you want you can look at the thickness you can look at the parting you want some form of reference before you start touching your head once you have your reference photo you can kind of gauge how you want to actually start the locks so there are a few methods that you can choose for starting your locks you can do two strand twist sometimes people do braids you can do coils or you could also do free form I'm not too familiar on free form locks but I do believe that you can use like you can do twist or braids but not too close to the root for free form so basically the three ways to start your locks would be coils braids and twists so your reference photo is going to tell you what method that you want to use so if you find a reference photo and the person has really thick wicks so if you don't know what a wick is it's a really big lock so when you see people who have like only five locks in their head and it's really thick that is a wick so if your reference photo is a wick you're not going to use the coil method so the way that that photo looks and the way that you want your locks to look is going to determine the method of locking that you choose personally I did two strand twist and you can even see that some of my twists are still here at the bottom even four years later. I did two strand twists and I maintain my hair by retwisting so that means I just palm roll my hair in a specific direction and then it stays and then my hair looks like this. And aside from the method that you choose that reference photo is also going to tell you how many locks you should have approximately because you may not be one to count your locks like I still don't know how many locks I have when y'all ask me I have no idea but it's going to give you a guesstimate. So if you see someone with a head full of hair you know that you should maybe make a little bit more part so you can have a little bit more locks and there are people who have much fuller hair than me I don't even feel like my locks are extremely full I think I have 60 to 70 locks but there are some people who have hundreds of locks so the reference photo that you choose you can just kind of gauge like okay this person looks like they have micro locks for example if they have micro locks then you know that they have hundreds of locks so you know that you need to be having hundreds of locks and you can kind of gauge when you start doing your hair and I'm trying to explain this to the best of my ability without actually showing you how to do it because I already have locks and there's no way for me to show you how to start your locks but if this is not clear please put your questions in the comments below and I will answer them or someone else in the lock community will answer them now let's talk products you don't necessarily need products to start your locks depending on the method that you're going to choose but a lock product could be helpful in like like making your hair stay or making it stick like making it hold using a lock retwisting gel I always tell this story but when I first started my locks I didn't know that I was starting locks because I was actually giving myself a protective style so my hair was actually braided at first and then I did some twists because I was about to wrap extensions around it I was giving myself faux locks I say this story to say I used gel when I first twisted my hair because I was not planning on keeping these forever but I didn't use a lock retwisting gel I I used one of those gels that you use for like box braids or something so I just wouldn't recommend that kind of gel I always recommend a retwisting type of gel just because the gels are gonna be different I think and in retwisting gel I think they have 
products that don't necessarily build up in your head whereas like if you use a gel that is mostly used for protective styles like slicking hair down i think that it's going to cause a little bit of build up in your locks and now as far as starting your locks on damp or dry hair i started my locks on dry maybe blow dried hair i can't really remember i do know that my hair was dry i don't know if it was blow dried but it was dry hair and i wish i would have wet it like i wish my hair was damp when i started them but again i didn't know i was starting locks but if i could go back i would start my locks on damp hair and a lot of other people have told me that when they start their locks on dry hair they always wish they would have started on damp hair i just feel like my hair would have locked a little bit differently had i started on damp hair rather than blow dried hair so now let's put all these steps together you're gonna have your reference photo you're gonna see kind of like how their hair is and you're going to mimic that with the fullness and the parts and you're gonna start this on damp hair but you don't have to because i don't want you to start your locks and be like oh ramani said i need to start on damp hair i'm just telling you i wish i would have started on damp hair and then after you start them and you finish them you can just wrap them and you don't really have to do too much once you have locks you can just kind of let your hair be free and you can wrap them in a scarf at night that's what I do and every maybe four to eight weeks you can think about retwisting your hair and if you need help with retwisting and braiding and you have questions about maintenance I have so many videos on my page I actually have a lock playlist with over 50 videos on there from the past three and a half years so you have a lot of videos to binge watch I'm gonna leave that link to the playlist down below if you made it this far in the video make sure you leave me a brown heart in the comments and if you have any questions about starting locks or anything about your lock journey please leave it down below and if i miss anything and you're already a part of the lock community please leave it down below for beginner like starter lock people i don't know what we call them the the newer lock community thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video